All right then, gang. So there's only one more thing to do, and that is the desktop styles. So anything that's over 1,200 pixels in width. And there really isn't that much for us to do because if I raise this all the way to the edge, it still looks pretty good. But I do want to address just a few things. First of all, I want to space out these sections a little bit more and add a little bit of padding at the top and bottom of each section. I also want to take these different items right here and spread them out a little bit more so they start at the start and they finish at the end of the grid because right now they're going from two to eight and it should be from one to nine for larger screens. And then I also want to just address a few things in the footer as well, make the image look a little nicer at the bottom, maybe add some more padding to make it larger, that kind of thing. So let's start by making this around about 1,200 and something pixels. And we're going to go to the top and we're going to start up here. In fact, we're going to start by adding some padding to all of the sections. So I've already prepped the selector. I'm going to paste it in and we have welcome section, portfolio, skills and contact. So all four sections. And all I'm going to do is say padding is 90 pixels to the top and bottom and zero to the left and right. And that just spreads everything out a little bit more. It looks a little nicer, right? Now, what I'm also going to do is now readdress these things down here. So I'm going to replace these items in different grid columns. So what I'll do is just come up to where we did it last time. We had these things right. And I'm going to come down here and paste it in again. Now, what I'm going to do is get rid of this where it says padding top 140 pixels for the second one. I don't need to change that, so I don't need to redefine it either. And for the first one, instead of starting at grid line two, I'm going to start at grid line one, but only go to number three. The next one is going to start at four and end at six. So in fact, we don't need that one in at all because we're not changing this. And the third one is going to start at seven and it's going to end at nine. So we have a grid column gap between each one, right? But they're now starting at the very beginning and ending at the very end of the grid row. So if I say this, this should be more spread out, which is what I want for larger screens. That looks a bit nicer. Okay. Now, if we wanted to, we could make the images inside these columns a bit bigger. Currently, they are 80% in width, but what we could do is up that to 100% in width. So I'm going to say projects and then anchor tag and then asterisk to grab everything inside. So that's the image and the text. And now I'm going to say the max width should be instead 100%. Before it was 80%, we also need to update the margin. And I'll have this at 30 pixels, top and bottom, zero left and right, because now the width is 100%. Save it, and that is looking pretty nice. Okay, so let me go full width over here. Yep, looking pretty good. All right. So then, next up, let's go down and address a couple of things in the footer. I don't think we need to do anything here. And again, nothing really here. This looks fine on desktop. So the footer is the only thing I really need to do anything with now. And I think what I'd like to do is add more padding top and bottom to make it a bit bigger. And that way we're going to see more of the planet at the bottom. So let me say footer and inside the footer, I'm going to say the padding top and bottom is going to be 80 pixels, zero left and right. Now I'm also going to say the background size is going to be up to 30%. Before it was 25%. If I scroll up, you can see 25. Now we're upping it to 30% and giving it more padding top and bottom. So we can see now a little bit more of that planet at the bottom. Okay, so do we need to do anything else? Let me see. Mm, not really, to be honest. I think that is about it. What I'm going to do, in fact, is just make these icons a little bit bigger. So let me come down here and say footer image and they're the images over here it's going to grab those and instead of 20 pixels in width which i think they currently are i'm going to make them 30 pixels in width instead just so they look a bit bigger on desktop save that and okay yeah that is looking a lot better okay so i think that is pretty much it so if i get rid of this we're starting off at mobile now and we designed all of this first and we coded all of this up first so it looks good on mobile and now all the way to desktop it should look good. And we ended up with this. So there we go, my friends. That is pretty much it. We have finished our mobile first responsive website. 
So then, my friends, that is the end of this playlist. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Now, if you found that I was going too quickly through any of this and you didn't understand some of the basics of the HTML and the CSS, I probably would advise you go back a step and check out my HTML and CSS crash course, first of all. Then if you come back here after this, it might make a lot more sense. If you do also want to learn more about CSS Grid, I've got a whole playlist on CSS Grid, and I'll leave that down below as well. Likewise, I have one on Flexbox. We did use Flexbox very, very briefly in this series, but really not much at all. We barely scratched the surface. So if you want to learn all about CSS Flexbox and how you can use that for layouts as well, check out this playlist, CSS Flexbox Tutorial. And as well, I do have a mini series all about CSS variables. Remember, we saw those pretty near the start of this series as well. So if you want to learn a bit more about those, I'll point you in the direction of this. Again, the link is going to be down below. And for those of you who think you've now mastered CSS and HTML and responsive design, if you want to move on to something else like JavaScript, then I've got a whole modern JavaScript tutorial right here. It's about six hours long and it's a preview of my Udemy course. It's going to teach you all the basics of JavaScript and how to add some interactivity to your web pages. So that link is going to be down below as well. Again, my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. And if you have, then please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And I'm going to see you in the very next series.